Well, Adobe Acrobat is now available in ChatGPT, which means you can ask AI to generate, modify, or perhaps combine multiple PDF documents into one, and you can do all of them directly in ChatGPT. But before that, there is one setting that you must enable. So here's how you can enable Adobe Acrobat directly in ChatGPT, and also I will do some quick demonstrations and I'll explain a few problems that I encounter when using this feature. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. So on ChatGPT, you can click on your profile picture right here, click settings, and then go to apps and connectors, and select Adobe Acrobat. Click connect, and after that, you have the option to connect with your Adobe account, and I'm going to choose that. Just wait for a few seconds for the two platforms to be connected. And there you go. Now Adobe Acrobat is connected to my ChatGPT account. I'm going to close this. And let's say I want to generate a PDF document. So to do that, you have to mention the word Adobe Acrobat. And it will enable Adobe Acrobat automatically. And by the way, you can also click this plus button and then manually select Adobe Acrobat if you want to use the feature. Anyway, let's continue. So here in this new mode, I want Adobe Acrobat to be used to generate a document. So this is going to be my request. Please generate a document for a cover letter. Okay, let me just send a message and just wait for ChatGPT to call Adobe Acrobat and generate the document using the tool. Now this process might take quite some time because after all it is calling the tool from some third-party platform and it needs to be loaded directly into ChatGPT. So yeah, it is not the most uh, straightforward process. It might uh, take several seconds, but there you go. You, you can see that there is this info. I'm going to click generate and just wait. Now, one thing that you need to know when using Adobe Acrobat is that the the way it is interacting with ChatGPT is different depending on your request. So if you want to use ChatGPT, uh, sorry, Adobe Acrobat in ChatGPT to modify a document, then you will see something that is different than, let's say, creating a document. So I'm creating a document, but what you will see when you are editing or uh, combining documents could be a bit different. So that's one problem that I noticed. It is not exactly intuitive. Anyway, I'm going to continue. Uh, ChatGPT wants to connect to Adobe Acrobat. I'm going to continue. Okay, I'm kind of wondering why do I have this message again? I thought it's just just one connection and it's done, but apparently it's not. So it keeps calling the tool again for the new task. Okay, just wait. Yeah, I guess that's another problem. It is kind of slow. And now I have to click this. Yeah, if you are using just the ChatGPT Canvas feature or perhaps the Gemini Canvas feature, which is really fast, by the way, it is just straightforward. If you want to create a document, just tell AI to create a document and then later you can convert that into PDF. And I think that's just much more practical than using Adobe Acrobat uh, in this manner in ChatGPT. But as you can see, we got uh, this document now in the PDF format. And maybe one benefit of using Adobe Acrobat in ChatGPT is that we have some tools from Adobe Acrobat that we can access directly in ChatGPT. Like for example, you can use this comment tool. You can insert some comments. You can annotate. You can also uh, add some highlighter or you can modify the formatting of the text. But these options or these tools are basic. Uh, they're not really changing anything on the document and as far as i know you cannot like edit the document you cannot type on something it's just not possible so it is only for viewing and doing some little light modification on a document so it is very limited at the moment now how about if you want to modify your existing document well let's give it a shot i'm going to open a new chat on chat gpt and i have this document so this is just a CV, just one example of a CV, and I just want to replace this text that says Spanish into Mandarin, and that's the only thing that I want to modify. So let's go back to ChatGPT. Let's upload the document. I'm going to enable Adobe Acrobat manually, and I guess I have to type it again because my testing, it's not actually always using Adobe Acrobat even when you're enabling this, this feature, so you have to use this and then use this at the same time that's just again not very straightforward anyway i'm going to tell ai to replace the word spanish with mandarin 
there you go as simple as that and you will see that there is a problem that i think will prevent a lot of people from using adobe acrobat directly into in chat gpt now here i got this message please add files using acrobat add files tool okay so i have provided the document but why it is asking me again let's click continue it tells me to scroll down to continue okay i'm going to scroll down and this is actually another answer so this is just weird this is not not something that i would expect when i'm using this tool on chat gpt and as you can see there's nothing i can do it's like well, what should i do now there is nothing and yeah it just well what what should i do there is nothing i can do i actually have done this before and uh, it, i got a different result so let me show you one example i got okay this one so this is uh a diff another thread that i created before i'm making this video just for testing this tool and as you can see it is just confusing it's just nothing there's nothing i can do i also tried to merge documents and i got this response it tells me to continue and i upload those documents in this case i was able to upload the documents again but after that there is nothing like there's nothing i can do it it, it told me that the documents have been merged but there is no download button there is no there's nothing i can do it's just very confusing not very intuitive and i think the features here are not exactly complete i don't think at this point adobe acrobat is usable in chat gpt maybe for creating some basic document you can do it or maybe you can uh, you can use it to view the document but other than that like the promise of being able to merging merge documents or uh, modify documents or convert documents they are just not quite ready at least for my testing so yeah i do really like that we have this feature on chat gpt but at this point i think it's better to just delay the implementation rather than releasing this half-baked feature but anyway that's essentially how you can enable and use some features of adobe acrobat directly in chat gpt thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video i wish you a great day ahead